here we go. That's that's probably about a thousand fish, I'm not gonna lie. Look at that. You got one? Two. Here you go, you guys. Here you go, you guys. Oh my god, Oliver, come here! Oh my god! What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here at the ranch. Today, you guys, we got a delivery of some awesome fathead minnows. These fish were originally supposed to go all the way to the other farm for the lake that we're building, the three acre lake. But unfortunately, my mom just gave me a call and the fish are not doing so well. We were gonna take a long journey trip over there and do like a road trip of our fish. But the fathead minnows, no bueno, not doing good. So I was like, you know what? Let's do something with these fish. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go feed our otters 1,000 fathead minnows. So let's go have some fun. Let's collect these fish and I go see how Oliver and Kali have some fun. So I had a really busy morning today and I wasn't able to unbox these fish. So I had my mom unbox the fish, put them in this giant garbage can right here with aeration and everything. I've been working all morning, doing a bunch of different content with some other creators. And unfortunately, um, yeah, exactly. You see a lot of white. That means the fish are pretty much not doing so well. And for the journey that I had to make to bring these fish to the ranch, there's no way they're all going to make it. So what was the point of even trying that? So that's why we decided we are going to get these fish and use them for the otter pond. These are bait fish. You know, they're minnows. They're fathead minnows. They came from a really, really cool farm. So let's get, I don't know, a lot of them. I mean, they, they are still alive. Maybe some are still alive. Maybe we'll put some in the aviary as well. Look at these guys. These guys get about three, four inches. They're really, really nice, juicy, good, good bait fish. And we're just going to get a, a bunch of them and just put them all inside of here. And then we're going to go and surprise Oliver and Callie. Put it down in the comments, you guys. Do you think Oliver and Callie are going to have a blast? Do you think that they're going to go crazy or you think they're going to just eat them all up? I don't know what's going to really happen, but I say right there we have probably a couple hundred. I ain't going to uh, let's do one more scoop so we can make it for sure a thousand fish. So here we go. That's that's probably about a thousand fish. I'm not going to lie. So let's go take all these guys over there to the pond and see how they interact. What What is what's going on? That looks kind of gross. Sorry, I think but all, all of our Sorry about the fish. I had no idea. I thought I did it right. Yeah, no, it's it's okay. I mean, there's nothing we can do about it. I think um, originally our plan was to get a 250 brim about this size, but I didn't know that you needed an import permit to bring them into the state of Florida. So they messaged me the import permit to do it, but I knew it wasn't going to happen fast enough for this weekend. So I'm like, you know what? Just send the fathead minnows. Let's see how it works. It's not working right. Let's go bring them to the otters and let's have Oliver have some fun. So these fish are ready to get inside the pond and Oliver and Callie actually right now are sleeping. I am getting destroyed with the water right now. It's splashing and splashing everywhere. They're sleeping over there because it's evening. This is the time that they like to sleep. But as soon as we enter, it's going to get buck wild. As you guys know, they still like Cassandra, but Cassandra has her Crocs on for one reason. So she can escape if she has to. They're still good with me, but you know, they have their days. Let's get inside of there. So we're here and they just entered into the pond. Watch this. Here you go, you guys. Here you go, you guys. Here you go, you guys. Oh my God, Oliver, come here. Oh my God. So yeah, the fish look like they're not gonna do so well. I don't know, Kylie's getting scared, but Kylie's actually munching them all down right now. Look, Oliver. Oliver, look at the fish. Yeah. Oliver, look at the fish. He got my shoe. Yep, he already got the shoe. But look at all the fish. I don't know if they're gonna survive. There are some are bouncing around. Some are not bouncing around. That's the reason why I put them in there. They are going down the oh. waterfall. There, there they all go. Maybe we should have put the fish on the other side. Some are bouncing, some are swimming, but I highly doubt they're gonna survive. Callie is just in a buffet right now, you guys. Check her out. Let me get that phone real quick. Look at Callie go. Callie is just going ham. She's like, oh, 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 I'm gonna eat every single fish. I'm gonna eat every single fish. She is going ham. We might not have to feed them today because she is going crazy. Where's Oliver? Oh, Oliver's right there. All right. Oliver's just hanging out right now. He might get a little nippy with you, Cassandra, so just be careful. But maybe he'll get a little curious and check out all of the fish, hopefully. Yeah, that's um, right. Oliver, can you go and check the fish out instead of bothering Cassandra? There's a lot of fish. Oliver obviously was hand raised. So Oliver. he wants me other than the fish. Yeah, Oliver's more human liking than Callie. Callie, rather, look at Callie. Callie is just going ham on the freaking fish right now. Look, she's literally eating every single one. Can you can you be nice to can you be nice? He's taking my croc. Yeah, let him take the croc if he wants it. Oh my there goodness. Well, All right. Well let's go I'll down on the outside and maybe we'll get a video of them swimming, chasing some of the fish. But unfortunately, if we would have put the fish in right in the morning, it would have been great. 
but it was for another reason. It didn't work too well. Um, Oliver is scenting the croc right now, but Callie is just still going ham over here. Yeah, let me get a fish for Oliver. Oliver, Oliver, Oliver. You want the fish? Yeah, I'll walk out so you can just You want the fish, Oliver? Yeah, it's fine. Oliver, you want the fish? Ooh, yummy. Here comes Oliver. <laughs> and we have this really cool box here, too. So this box could actually be really good for Oliver, too. He can play with it and have some fun. So we put 1,000 fish inside of the pond. Callie is still eating all of the fish, you can see. Oliver is wanting to scent that box very bad right now. He is obviously a hand-raised human otter. He's Psycho Man over there. He's scenting the box because he smells all the other people on there. Callie, check her out, come over here. She could absolutely care less about what we're doing. Oliver just wants to do what we're doing and Callie is eating every single fish. Callie, you're a good girl. I wish I could touch Callie, but Callie will take my finger off, so oh we don't God. touch Callie. He's getting a little much. Oliver is starting to get buck wild, so Cassandra's gonna have to get out of the enclosure. So Cassandra, you get out before you lose your fingers from Oliver. I can't get my croc. You just go out without your croc. I'll take your croc. I want my croc. Oh, all right, just everybody knows, Cassandra has to know that you can't scream of Oliver. Here he comes. And you're screwed. <laughs> We have a net with no net in it. It's the best thing. He goes in and out, in and out. Look at him, he's Psycho Man. He's Psycho Man. He turns into Psycho Man. Come here, Oliver, Oliver. So we use that net with no net to try to push him out. But he's a uh, Psycho Man. Just go slow, 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 slow down, slow down, slow down. Oliver, come here, Oliver. Hey. Come on. Uh-oh, Callie's coming with the fish. Callie's coming with the fish. Callie's coming with the fish. Oh my God, we're getting, we're getting stuck in here. All right, go ahead. There you go. All right, they are out. They are out. Oh my God, close that door. That was so funny. So that is Oliver and Callie right there. They're just going freaking crazy. So they have enough fish inside of here. So why not now? We grab the rest of the fish, Cassandra and go and dump them to our giant bass that we have in the aviary and see if she goes a little crazy. Let's go do that. So we're here at the pond and the pond has monsters in here. As you guys know, we have a seven pound freaking largemouth bass that lives inside of here. And inside this aviary, we have all kinds of crazy stuff, especially this guy right here. Look at that. You got one, two. All right, you guys. So this bass is big. It actually looks like he has something in his mouth right now. What the heck does he have in his mouth right now? I don't know, you guys. But let's get this in here and let's see what happens. Throw all these fish in here. Let's get a fish frenzy going. Come on, you guys. Uh-oh. Here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. Let's see if the bass hits. And if the bass doesn't hit it, it's all right. We got a ton of turtles inside of here and the turtles will eat all of these things up too. Or the trumpeters. Bam. Yeah, these, there is no way, unfortunately, these fish are gonna make it up there. We'll do another video, you guys, taking these fish and sending them up north. We'll mail them right there instead of mailing them here to the house. But they're just inside of here. I think the bass has something in his mouth and he ate something very large. <laughs> oh, something's happening with the fathead minnows. They're bouncing around weird right now. The Toronto's like the fish, though. Where's that bass? What's going on with that bass? I just saw him. Oh, he's guys. over there. But he has something in his mouth. He literally ate it. Oh my god, what's in his mouth? What? Oh, that was his gill, right? I don't know. You, no. you saw it looks that, right? like a big, like, it looks like a turtle, sort of, but... I, I, I swear, I thought he had a turtle's mouth, too. I hope he doesn't have a turtle's mouth. Let's go check him out over here real quick. Maybe you guys can see the bass in that back far corner over there. We came here just in a late time because he has something very large in his mouth. Put it down in the comments, you guys. What do you think the bass ate? Put it down in the comments, you guys. What do you think the bass ate? I have no idea what that bass freaking ate. That is pretty crazy. Um, hopefully just a tilapia is my biggest thing i would hope not a turtle i don't think he would eat a turtle but bass don't eat anything so they ate they did good i'm happy with that 
I'm, uh, you know, that's good, that's good. So what we're gonna do now is that fish, the fathead minnow, is actually a really, really good bait fish. It's a really, really fatty fish. Um, it's good for my monster fish. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and get small Ziploc bags and get those guys in Ziploc bags, throw them in the freezer, because I am still very, very, you know, I get nervous with bringing in other fish to my monster tank. I don't want them to get any type of diseases or getting sick of any sort. And what I like to do, I know some people say it doesn't work, but it can help. And freezing the fish can help killing any bacteria or any germs or, you know, any worms or anything in those fish to throw in my big tank. So freeze them, leave them there for over the weekend. And then next week sometime, we'll do a fish video with you guys feeding the monster fish with the fathead minnows. So let's go bag some of those fish. One cool thing about being an overcast day here on the ranch, we don't need to have a roof over the otter house. Why? Because we can see the otters perfectly. I didn't want to be so loud because if, we, if they hear us, Oliver doesn't act like a normal otter. He acts like a loser. Look at him down there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. He's searching. He's hunting for the fathead meals. Look at him down there, you guys. Give him a second. Give him a second. Give him a second. Look at Oliver. Oliver's down there acting like a real otter. Oh my God. He's doing it. He's doing it. Look, he has a little fish in his hand. He has a little fish in it. Look at Callie. Oh, 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 oh. He's getting ready. Oh my God. Right on camera. Did you guys see that? Did you see that? Oh my God. Callie is literally playing fetch with a live fish. She's letting it go, letting it go, catching it, letting it go and catching it. Did you guys see that? Oh my God. Oh, and Oliver. Look, 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 look. Oliver's gonna get his fish. Oliver's gonna get his fish. They're having such a great time in there, you guys. That is so cool. This is called otter enrichment. Letting them play with their live fish. Even though we have a ton of cichlids and everything in here, they can't always catch them all. But, oh, Callie was just there eating a, a fish. She is munching up, you guys. This is so cool. Look, 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 let's see this live one right here. Let's see if they get this live one right here. Look, 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 look. Right on camera. Oh, look at Callie. Callie said, I want that one. I want the moving one. But she's literally playing with it, swimming next to it. That is so crazy, you guys. That is so cool. That's why this window was one of the best investments here on the ranch for the otters. Because you can enjoy them so much more just like this. I, I think it was a freaking cool investment. Look at these guys just living their best life. Super, super, super cool. We're back with the bucket. We probably have a few hundred left. I have my mom for backup because Sandra's recording. Start catching the fish, mom. Make sure you do it good. Get the net lower. I wasn't going to touch that. Jesus. Jesus, what? You're holding on the ground. You're good. Hey. I'm on cowgirl. You got this. Put it back down. Don't lose my fish. Yeah, man, I got to come very far. Don't let him swim off. Yeah. We're going to bag all these guys, you guys. So, if you guys want to see the next video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Put your post notifications on. Stay tuned. Because we're going to have an insane okay. fish feeding, monster fish video coming soon. Stay tuned, you guys. Let's bag these guys up. Put them in the freezer. And we'll see you guys soon. Peace out, everybody.